his wife comes into the jacuzzi and joins us and she introduces herself to me and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Like your husband is low key flirting with me. Welcome back to my channel everybody you already know by the title of this video that it's a fucking story time But this one by far has been my favorite of this year So this crazy shenanigan that I went through happened about well last month actually It literally happened last month in November. It was very unexpected I never thought in a million years I'd be capable of doing something like this, but but it happened. All right, where do I begin? I went on a little mini vacation trip in November to this Huntington Beach hotel. I was staying there for two nights, I guess. I was also there because a friend was visiting in town and I wanted to go see my friend for a little bit and I was staying there for two nights. So the first time I was there, I was just like chilled at the hotel, was just, you know, relaxing, drinking. It was like a very simple, chill night. The second day I was at the hotel, I had really nothing to do. My friend was having dinner with other friends and I had like the whole day pretty much to myself, like pretty much half the day I would say. So I decided, let me just go chill at the pool by myself, get some drinks. So I ended up going to the jacuzzi and if you don't know me by now, every time I'm in the jacuzzi, something always crazy happens. I always meet someone new, there's always a hot guy that ends up being there that I start talking to, like something always happens in the fucking jacuzzi. And this has happened to me multiple times even in my own place, my own apartment complex where I'm in the jacuzzi and you always meet someone and it always turns to something like always something happens so i told myself something's gonna happen in the jacuzzi i just fucking know it i feel it i always attract these type of scenarios but little did i know what the fuck i was gonna get myself into i'm in the jacuzzi i look at this guy i'm sipping my drink and i'm like hmm it's kind of hot i would totally make out with him and he was probably in his maybe 40s i don't even know like I think early third, probably 40s honestly, he gave me Lucifer vibes. The Netflix show Lucifer. Yeah, he gave me those vibes and I was instantly attracted, okay? Like the older looking, okay, I have daddy issues. So I'm just actually minding my own business pretending like I'm not looking at him. <laughs> and he actually comes up to me first and we start making a conversation, having a great time. And then he tells me that he's here with his wife on vacation. And I was like, ooh, yeah, it ain't gonna happen between us. Oh well, like I can look at you from afar at least, but uh, obviously he's married, it's not gonna happen. And then his wife comes into the jacuzzi and joins us and she introduces herself to me and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Like your husband is low-key flirting with me. And I was trying to like make it seem as if I wasn't really interested in him because she's right there. She came soon after we had a conversation and I was like, listen, like I swear to God, I'm not trying to get up on that knowing that you're married. But then she gets super friendly with me and starts talking to me and we're all having a great time. Apparently they happen to be like living not too far away from me in LA um, but they were also there on vacation just like moi and they were like a really cool couple and they were Armenians just like me. Ay. So I found my Armenian crew and then they told me that they were in an open relationship and I was like oh that's so cool. It was especially cool to me because I've never really known an Armenian couple that is really open-minded in general. I've known many Armenians in my life and they're super conservative, but they were not that at all. And it was so cool to see that. I'm like, yay, my people, y'all are awesome. So I ended up exchanging numbers with a wife and she said, hey, if you're gonna be free later on tonight, we're gonna be at the rooftop bar at the hotel, let's hang out. I'm like, yeah, sure, let's, let's make it happen. So they end up leaving the jacuzzi and then I end up leaving soon after. Actually, I started talking to another guy in the jacuzzi. And then I got his number. Straight up, I was like, you're attractive, as I'm drunk as fuck. And um, I got his number. But nothing really happened with that. Anyways, I go back into my hotel room, just chilling. And all of a sudden, I get a text from the wife. And she says, straight up, hey beautiful, my husband is fantasizing about you. Do you want to go up into the hotel room and play with him? Huh? I was looking at my text, I'm like, am I seeing this shit correctly? Like, is this shit about to go down? Am I actually gonna do this? So I was like, you know what? Yeah, I am attracted to her husband. The whole thing was just so bizarre and so exciting. And I was like, I am not gonna pass the opportunity of not fucking him because I am attracted to him. I, uh, I went up to the hotel room, tiptoed my way up, and uh, he opened the door. I'm gonna call him Ben. Ben and 
Ashley. So Ben opens the door and we immediately just start making out. And this girl is just there curling her fucking hair like it's a regular fucking Tuesday for her. Like she's seen this a bunch of times, okay? And we're just there making out and then he picks me up and starts making out with me more and we just start ripping each other's clothes off and I start sucking his dick while she ends up watching me sucking his dick and then we end up just fully fucking we're just fucking left and right as she's watching the whole thing I've never experienced something like this in my entire life and I don't know if I'll ever experience it again but boy was that so fun I never thought in a million years I'd be comfortable enough to have someone watch me have sex not publicly or privately, like I thought I'd feel uncomfortable because I just feel like it'd be awkward or whatever but they made me feel so comfortable I can't even explain it but they were just very chill and very sweet, very kind people that's pretty much why I did it too, it's like if they didn't make me feel comfortable in the first place I would have never done this but their energy was great, I'm all about good energy so yeah, it was a great time, the sex was and then after we finished, um, we ended up just talking in bed about random shit And then I was like, alright, time for me to go That was fun, peace out And I left and that was it That was the that was story, y'all That was probably one of the craziest things that, that's ever happened to me By far Merry Christmas to me <laughs> I hope everyone has an amazing Christmas I don't know when I'll post this, but If I post this before Christmas and Merry Christmas If I happen to post it after Merry Christmas anyways, and have a happy fucking new year. I love you guys so much. I'm excited to see what 2022 has in store for all of us. If you guys want more story times from me, like this video and uh, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll see you guys next time in my next video. Don't forget to do the Nikki leg while you're fucking somebody's wife or husband.